Leaked screenshots of Android 4.4 reveal new features to expect. We also get some photos of a possible Nokia smartwatch and leaked design mockups show LG's flexible smartphone. I'm Jaime Rivera, and I guess the thing for 2014 is going to be phones that actually can't sit flat on the table. This is Pocket Now Daily. Let's start today off with some official and actually awesome news as HTC is keeping their promise. They are launching Android 4.3 to the HTC One, and the Sprint customers are the first lucky ones to get it. But still, this shows that HTC is getting their act together when it comes to software, and it also means that they're also going to be working on Android 4.4, which is just around the corner as well. So get your phone updated. Now, speaking of Android 4.4, we've also got some leaked screenshots of what to expect. And first of all, aesthetically, it looks a lot like Jelly Bean, so don't get your hopes up, but apparently we will be getting new features, for example, focused on payments, also Miracast support built in, and even printer support, even though I don't remember when was the last time I bought a printer. Still, we also get apparently a dramatic overhaul in the camera UI, though. It's still hard to know exactly what we get, and as long as we get a better camera in the future next to smartphone, we don't care, so let's see what we get. Now, another company that's making headlines along with Google is Asus, as we've got some more leaked paperwork that confirms that the company is going to be behind the Nexus 10 and not Samsung this year. That's actually good. I mean, the Transformer lineup from Asus is awesome, and hopefully we do get that keyboard dock as well. But not everything is good news, because we love the Nexus 7 that we got this year, but it seems that we won't be getting an Asus Nexus 7 next year, as Digitimes is reporting that they're having a lot of struggling with the amount of tablets that they're actually building. So let's see how that goes as well. Now, if you thought that the only company that was not building a smartwatch was Nokia, well, think again, we've got some leaked parts of a possible smartwatch, since these parts do not belong to a smartphone. And as it turns out, it seems that the smartwatch will not have buttons anywhere, so it does seem that this will be a very interesting device somehow. Let's just see what Nokia brings to the table, as obviously Microsoft is in to become a more of a products company, and obviously Nokia is their ticket to get there. And finally, for the hot news of the day, we've got some more credible confirmation that LG's building a smartphone with a flexible display. But we heard about the LG Z lineup, and apparently that's actually going to happen later, and that's going to be more of a high-end lineup. Apparently by November, what we're getting is a G Flex smartphone, and we've got some mock-ups and everything, which, you know, point to a device that'll keep the same specifications of the G2, which is actually great, and only bring a curved display. But yeah, this is just the curved display, and we've seen this on the Nexus S and the Galaxy Nexus. So, you know, that leads me to the question of the day. Are you interested in a curved display on a smartphone? Is that really a point that you're looking for in your next device? You know, in my particular case, back when I had the Galaxy Nexus, even then I didn't understand the ergonomics behind it. I would never stick the phone to my face just to keep the face oils away from the display and having to clean it later. So I really wouldn't buy a phone just for a flexible display. And if you think about it, I mean, I hate phones that wobble on a table. I like for devices to stay flat. So leave us a comment down below. Do you want Want a flexible display or not? Friends, as always, for an earlier scope of everything that's happening in the smartphone and tablet world, make sure you follow us on PocketNow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you tomorrow.